Okay then guys, so now we'll tackle the bonnet. Um, it's much the same as the wing, we've got this washer pipe to consider before we remove anything. We'll do that now before we forget. I did say I'd explain the lighter. Um, the rubber hoses, especially on an older car, can be quite brittle and they might need a little bit of heat just to soften them up. Obviously there's a huge word of warning, petrol engine or any kind of fuel is an absolute no-no to have a naked flame. So a lot of people use a little hot air gun or they struggle along with brute force. Uh, I'm confident there's no fuel, I've got a reasonable sense of smell, I've been doing it a long time and I'm happy to use this just to warm that end up. Before I do, I'll just make life a little bit easier and just that came out quite nicely. And that's exposing this quite nicely. That's actually fairly soft, but just to demonstrate, literally only needs a little waft. And there we go, that's separated nice and easily. Again, do not use naked flame if you think there's a hint of fuel, struggle on. Uh, or find another way. Uh, that's just an old fashioned cheat that you can use if you're confident. Right, so the next thing we want to look at, 12 mil bolts. Same again, we've got an extension on the go. These are gonna take a little bit more force because they're a bigger bolt. Some people might want to use a 3 8 ratchet here. Again, I was always heavy handed. Well, I'm quite used to using a quarter drive. Now, if you noticed, this bonnet dropped down as we removed some tension from that nut. Um, and this is where we're going to struggle on my own. This is where it would be nice to have two people. I could hold this side, a colleague could hold that side. We undo the bolts together and lift it off in one go. I haven't got that luxury today. It is just me. So I'm going to, once I think on, show you, uh, not a cheat, I don't like using that word, but a way of overcoming this, uh, some nice thick welding gauntlets, the, the thumb and finger side on the screen, because that's the thickest part. We don't have to worry about clashing the wing on this side, it's the windscreen I'm concerned about, really concerned about, because have got nice strong windows, but when you get to the edge of glass, that's typically where it's weakest. Plus a sharp pointy bonnet equals, well, I'm pretty sure you can figure that one out. Now this is why I'm not really a fan of doing this unless I absolutely have to, but sometimes we absolutely have to. Now this is trying to lift up, the other one was trying to sag down. The reason being, we've got a lever going on there, we've got a bit of a, a this is a fulcrum point. So I won't undo these completely, until I've disconnected this, disconnected the bonnet prop and I'm using my hand to brace the bonnet, I'm, I'm lifting, I'm not just letting this bolt undo and watching the bonnet slump down, I'm actually physically holding it back and ideally I'd quite like these hinge bolts or hinge studs if you like to stay in there and this is the side I want to be especially careful with keep checking the other side as I'm working be mindful we don't clash anything with our ratchet just be oh so careful And because we're in a bit of a predicament, I'm going to leave that there. And now the plan is lift the bonnet off clean. Without the prop fastened. <laughs> lift the bonnet off clean. Let's have it propped nicely. And it'd be nice to have a pad there. Put that is going to touch long before the paintwork does. Bonnet off. Again, I can't stress enough, I don't particularly like this technique, but I am on my own. If at a push, it's a way around it, but there is a risk of damaging the paintwork or the window. Please be aware of that, and where possible, get help. Have somebody give you a lift off. 
wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to put some protection down there when you've got somebody helping you, especially when you're still learning. Now, it is easy to make a mistake and damage things.